Hi everyone, it's six o'clock on Tuesday. This is the start of another detail um, with a truly fabulous car. Spectacular car. Amazing car. There aren't enough words to describe it. Starting a bit late, uh, just come back from a great trip in Le Mans with um, going to see the 24 hour race with some great friends and some great cars. So I didn't get back till late last night, so this turned up at half past 10 today. Um, not had much chance to go round it yet. The, I'm gonna finish taping up tonight and then ready for machining. It's not having any wheels coat or coatings or interior done. This is purely about a mild enhancement of the paint. And then we're gonna put some probably Swiss wax or some angel wax on it. But I'll turn the camera around, I'll show you the car. I've had to do some research on the car so I can explain to you what the car is and what, why it's so special. And then I'll show you some some of the technology. I say technology, it's 1934 the car. So certainly the oldest. Uh, and certainly up there with the DB6 is one of the most spectacular cars I've been fortunate enough to have in here. So I'll turn the camera around so you can see it. There we have a 1934. SS2 SS It is just a beautiful beautiful car from a bygone era They certainly don't build things like this anymore. And I'll go through and show you some of the bits and pieces, but just going to qu quickly Read for you as well as I can read. It's not, not joined up. So I should be okay And I'll just let leave that on there uh, this was William Lyons, um, and he, with an, agreement, with an agreement to purchase rolling chassis from the Standard Motor Company, Swallow, who was um, oh, a Lyons, um, Swallow's own styling, bodybuilding and assembly, initially two models were produced from 1931. The SS1, which used a bigger chassis and a six cylinder side valve engine. And this one, which is the SS2, a much smaller car based on the four cylinder standard Nippy 9. In 1934, the SS models led to the formation of a new additional company called SS Cars Limited to produce them and develop this brand, this car further. SS Cars Limited purchased Swallow at the end of July 1934. In 1945, SS Cars changed its name to Jaguar Cars Limited. Obviously, after the Second World War, I should imagine it was inappropriate to have a car called SS. So it was came to be Jaguar, and obviously the Jaguar brand lives on now. So I'm just going to walk around the car. There's a couple of things I'm going to show you that I'm going to have to put the camera down because bonnets on these don't open like normal bonnets. Um, so I'll show you the engine and I'll show you the workmanship on it. But I'll just show you the paint at the moment. That's what I've got to remove. And that's my first test panel. That's it. And I think I'll probably, I'm there or thereabouts, I think. Um, as with any car, and this one probably more so, you always start with the least aggressive combination of pad and compound. So I went first of all with a, a, a mild foam. Um, pad with some, what did we go with? The Mazurna medium cut. It didn't touch it, it didn't get anywhere near it. So then I tried the Meguiar's 105 on the foam pad, didn't touch it. So now I've dragged out a used uh, MF pad, the little three inch. Um, I say used, but I wouldn't use a new one on that until I knew it was going to work. And now, now I know it's going to work, I'll crack out a new one and it'll be a new one as with every car. Every car gets a new pad. So then I used that microfiber pad with the 105 again. And it really, it was started to work. And then in the end, I've just gone full bore with Resurrection. There's plenty of paint on the car. And it is quite hard. No, obviously single stage, no clear. And that's what's confused me a little bit because for single stage paint, it is really hard, really, really hard. But that's enough about the paint. I'll show you, I'll do some bits and pieces 
um, over the next couple of days with the correction. Let me put you up here why I do uh, the engine bay. It is delicate. Very, very delicate. Top hand in the fresh egg. And to be trusted with something of such beauty. It's quite humbling really. Look at that little four cylinder engine. Little carburetor, little pipe work. It's all, this is already a Concourse winning car. I won the Concorde Royal Guidance at the Warren uh, last year or two years ago. It's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to try and clear that, but this will be brass under here and then chrome plated over the top. Just showing you some of the other bits of paintwork that are going to cause, well, not cause an issue, but need doing you see that but that will come up a treat if I had the car longer maybe two or three weeks and um, we could go a lot further with it I could remove a lot more trim as it is these trim pieces here are actually very easy to remove as I've already found out because I've removed that one so that allows me now to machine really tight and then put them back on. Here, at the top of the window here, where's my torch again? The torch down, come around this side. Obviously I've got that to create. No point making this all shiny and swell free and then not attacking that. But to me, this piece of glass and trim as much as I can tape it I could tape it up but I'm like likely to catch me pad in the tape um, and then start moving the tape around so I've had a quick look and they do remove they do remove actually very easily so for the time it takes me to remove them they're out of the way and just look at this this is the this is the piece of glass I've taken off the thickness of that glass is amazing. Let's put that back. Come around, show you the interior. 1934, bit of Art Deco. <laughs> that is just stunning. All bare walnut. And this leather here is just art. It really is just art. Is it easy to drive? No, not at all. <laughs> Not even close, but look. I know this is advance and retired on the ignition, but I couldn't tell you how it works, why it works, what it does, how to start it, where to start it. The um, gentleman put it in the ramp, uh, on the ramp for me, and um, that's where it's gonna stay until he turns up. Uh, SS cars, it's just lovely. I won't go on too long, well, I'm at eight minutes already, so I'll end up ramb rambling on and on and on. Just talk to myself, basically. But I hope you agree. And you can see the paint, that's, that's what I've got removed. And hopefully, if I can get it all like that, do you know what, I'll be a happy, happy bunny. So, let's turn this around once more. You can see the car. So that's it, really. I'm going to finish up taping the car, so I'm going to finish up taking all of these pieces off. Um, the running ball um, steps, and then start taping up as much as I can before I start machine polishing tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, and um, cheers guys, bye.